Kwani, a rice producing group in Gaia, Niger, modernized its rice processing facility and increased productivity and income for the group members. On average, up to 60 to 70 percent of the off grid population in Africa works in agriculture. So, any attempt to increase livelihoods through energy access activities must be linked to farming, in particular that involving female farmers. Energy experts on the continent, backed by USADF support, have been trying to find solutions to energy challenges on the continent. Let's face it, energy poverty is not gender neutral. And since women are the primary consumers and users of energy products, it is not surprising that men and women are affected differently by energy poverty because, because of the different roles that they perform in their homes. To illustrate, when a family needs to cook, the burden falls on the women to get wood to be used as fuel. But when you have clean energy solutions like efficient cook stoves, it will result in significant social and economic benefits for the family. So cooking time is reduced by at least 50%, um, fuel efficiency is increased by at least 30%. There's also a very significant reduction in harmful